do you ever experience a situation where it's wound up, bound up in pop culture or the culture around you, this idea, something that's talked about, that's popular, that's in the news, that seems interesting. It seems to be capturing the attention of a lot of people, but you don't really know how it works. Let me give you an example. For years, I've heard on the news and I've heard from coworkers or people at companies that I do business with, both the lament and the exultation of outsourcing jobs to other countries, namely, most of all, really, China. I've heard this discussed as being something that's taking jobs from Americans. I've heard others say how by outsourcing some of their work that was previously done in the United States, they've been able to obtain to acquire large sums of wealth, all because of this cost savings. And then I see on the news talk of losing jobs to other countries. But then I read about the jobs that are able to be created within the United States because of that cost savings. The money that is saved from outsourcing labor ultimately gets to be used for goods and services within the United States. It may mean a loss to a category of jobs, but it means a gain to another category, usually a more complex, a higher, a more highly technical job. So I hear all of these discussions for years. In college, a fellow classmate shared with me his ideas of starting a clothing company, an athletic wear company, specifically focusing on football or American soccer. He described to me how he was contacting companies over in China, discussing material, design, sizes, quantity of shipments, samples, minimum order sizes from here in the United States. I thought at the time, he's so far ahead of me. He's asking questions that I never thought to ask. And now looking back, he's as he was asking questions years before I considered them. And as time has gone by, and as I've obtained more experience in the software development IT industry, as I've studied other industries, as I've read and read, as I've talked with more people, as I've traveled to more places, as I've acquired more ideas, well, it's gotten to the point where I'm starting to take take a look at all of the things that I've taken for granted, things that I hear about existing but have no idea how they work, and am investigating everything about them, everything that I can learn, within reason, within this understanding that I need to be focusing on my own core competency, and any learning that I do outside of that necessarily takes away from that pursuit. So recognizing the ultimate priority of this core competency, I'm still learning about other industries, and I've found that one of the best ways to save time and yet still be learning, still focusing on that main pursuit, a way to educate yourself past reading a textbook, past reading a journal article, an online blog article, a Wikipedia page, performing Google searches, is finding experts who are willing to share their knowledge that they've acquired over a number of years with you in a form of a, cons a consultation. I've taken this idea and today I applied it to a new area. I thought, I have this experience within the software development world and I'm recognizing a product that I think I would like to create. I would like to sell. I think there may be an opportunity here. What would that process look like? What would the process look like to have something manufactured in another country? What would it look like to have manufactured in the United States? Logistically speaking, how many orders might I need to place? What would my upfront costs be? What would the cost benefit ratio be to manufacturing in another country only to have it imported into the United States? Would there actually be any cost savings? Who do I even talk to? Do I need to know aspects of this industry or about different countries' cultures, financial regulations, different forms of government regulations. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole nother world. So now that I've start to, started to think about this, how might I deploy a product? How might I create something? Especially with the background that I've had over the last few months with hiring freelancers to complete tasks through Upwork, especially related to this podcast. Anything technical, anything software-based, I'm hiring people who have expertise in different software programs to create things for me. So recognizing that and thinking, I can combine all of these things together. The next step is I can't continue to be ignorant of certain things related to the deployment of a product, the creation from start to finish of a product, a manufactured product. What's that going to look like? And so today I thought I can go to some textbooks, read a textbook on an aspect of logistics, an introduction to manufacturing, machining, basically a lot of reading. Or I did what I have done in for other industries and for other areas of expertise. I went to LinkedIn and I typed in this keyword search, independent consultant. That's the first thing. And then afterwards, simply typed the category of expertise that I was looking to learn more about. In this case, logistics, manufacturing, and outsourcing. This is going to be the initial research that I performed to understand 
the, the benefits and the drawbacks to anything related to outsourcing. Well, on LinkedIn, I found plenty of candidates who build themselves as independent consultants with this kind of experience. They're out there. They list their services. They list their expertise. They are ready and willing for you, even as an individual, to reach out to them. So I did just that. I sent a message over LinkedIn to this gentleman who lists himself as an independent consultant. I put together a message and it reads like this. To give some context, he lists his areas of expertise as bringing your business to China and Vietnam. So here's how it goes. Here's how the message went. I don't have a business that I would like to operate in China, but I plan to have one in the future. Are you available for a paid independent consultation for an hour long session to discuss what the process is to do business in China or Vietnam. And since then, we've exchanged a few messages and the conclusion is I'm going to be completing a list just like I, I made for the former vice pre president within Shell of questions that I would like to ask during the meeting to give this person a little bit of context of what I'm looking for to make that meeting, that hour long paid consultation productive. I'll be paying for the time. I don't want it wasted. So that's my next step. It means being explicit in detail of what I want to learn. And at this stage, there are questions that I have that are very basic. They're questions that are going to lead to new questions once I have these answered, because I'm going to need to continue to go into depth about some of these things. And I'm not in a place yet to even know the questions to ask at that level, but I've got to start somewhere. So maybe you're starting a business. Maybe you're looking to outsource. Maybe you're comparing the benefits and the drawbacks of doing something like that. Maybe you are in school and you are deciding on a research project or a senior thesis. There's a wide range of places in life that you can be where you can take advantage of the opportunities in front of you widely available to you just over LinkedIn to find experts who are willing to part with their knowledge in exchange for a piece of money. On a slightly related note, when it comes to international business, I'm at a point now where I continue to do research for countries that are strong candidates or welcome entrepreneurs. And I know that as I travel, as I go to new cities, new states, and new countries, when I have conversations with people in all of these places, I get new ideas, I learn and it is the spark of ingenuity. The more I travel, the more people I speak with, the more I'm able to connect these conversations to synthesize these ideas, ultimately leading to creating something, to starting something. It's still a process, but I recently found an incredible deal that's going to allow me to travel to Norway. I oftentimes see advertisements for the latest deals in retail, in airlines, credit cards, auto sales. They're all over the place. Well, I used to work in retail. I worked at Home Depot as a merchandiser. And so I was a part of the process of changing prices, changing the labels to update prices for various items throughout the stores. And I saw just how rapidly those prices fluctuated throughout the year. And I found that there were particular times every year where the greatest discount effectively, not nominally, actually came about. And so it got me thinking since that time to try and distill all of the different advertised discounts from any company down to what actually is their best offer. So for various various companies. I've signed up for their email lists. I have them automatically assigned to different subfolders within my inbox and they just collect some some companies I've collected for years just to look for patterns, patterns in discounts. Well, Norwegian Air, Norwegian Air is no different. I continue to have their emails come in, get categorized right into a subfolder for Norwegian Airlines, and I've seen the deals. And I just found one, one month in advance that I've booked, round trip, direct, bare bones flight, as in you have a carry-on, a handbag, a personal item, a single item like that, that you can fit underneath the seat in front of you. And that's it. You don't get a meal. You don't get to check or carry on anything else. It's as bare bones as you get. Kind of like Spirit Airlines, only there is a much larger range of upgrades that you can have. So I found this ticket flying from South Florida to Oslo, Norway, a month from now, towards the end of September, leaving on a Friday night and returning on a Monday night. Total price, all in, round trip, after tax, tags, titles, fees, $310.30. Now I have never flown internationally for that price before, but I saw it. I was flexible in my dates, tried to find a weekend that would allow me to only have to take a single day off of work. And I found it and that's the price that I had. Now my plan isn't to go to Norway because I want to see the sights. I want to experience all that is Norway. That's a consolation of sorts, but the main priority is to speak with new people. This time, especially far away. I can speak with new people 
right across the street from me within my own community. I can meet new people, but this is taking it to another level. So I'm going to go, I'm going to explore, I'm going to converse, and all the while, I will be actively considering everything there, taking in everything, processing it, and using it to add to the ideas that I've been gathering. This is a process that won't end with Norway. It's continued this year from, so far, Iceland, Ireland, France, and England, as well as multiple states within the United States. But Norway will certainly be an addition. Prices like this can be had for anybody. Sometimes these things aren't advertised on aggregate websites. I booked directly through Norwegian, and especially the benefit is it's not going to interrupt work. So know that these deals are out there. Sometimes it means putting in research, gathering data. Additionally, people are out there. People who are willing to give you their expertise. Go find them. They're there. It just takes the intentionality. So be intentional.